Eubironius immediately stands out from amongst other elephants with its curved spirally twisting trunks which are often described as narwhal-like. However something else which this elephant is more famous for is that at the time of writing it is one of two genera of elephants that are known to have lived in South America, the other being Stegomastodon. Before we get started, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications if you enjoy prehistoric creatures. So you can stay up to date on all of our latest content and encourage our team to try to update the most recent video. The earliest known specimens of Q. Vironius are dated to the early Pliocene, where populations of Q. Vironius seem to be concentrated around the southern portion of the United States and Mexico. Roughly 3 million years ago volcanic activity created the Isthmus of Panama, an event that would have world-changing consequences, but specifically for the Americas, this was the first time that these two continents had been directly connected by a permanent land bridge. This triggered another even called the Great American Interchange, where some South American animals spread up into North America, and some North American animals, including Q. Vironius, spread down into South America. As mentioned above Q. Vironius is known to have lived in South America with Stegomastodon, but usually, two animals cannot share the same niche in an ecosystem. This does not seem to have been a problem for these two elephants, however since Stegomastodon is known from the warmer lowland areas and Q. Vironius is associated with higher, cooler environments that you find associated with the Andes mountain range. With these two elephants living in quite different ecosystems, competition for the same resources such as food plants would have been minimal to non-existent. It is difficult to pin down an exact extinction date for Q. Vironius, but carbon dating has revealed that Q. Vironius was alive during the Holocene as recently as a few thousand years ago. Remains of what seems to have been Q. Vironius have also been found in association with early human settlements, suggesting that Q. Vironius was quite possibly hunted by early humans. In fact, human hunting is the theory that is most often proposed as the explanation for the extinction of Q. Vironius. Q. Vironius was named in honor of the famous French naturalist and zoologist Georges Cuvier. In the early 19th century, Cuvier was instrumental in the establishment of natural sciences such as comparative anatomy and paleontology. This work saw Cuvier being instrumental in the identification of the first two dinosaurs, Megalosaurus and Iguanodon, as well as being the first person to correctly identify the Pterosaur Pterodactylus as a flying reptile amongst many other achievements. However, the man who named Q. Vironius in honor of George's Cuvier, Henry Fairfield Osborne, was no slouch himself and was responsible for naming the most famous dinosaur of all time Tyrannosaurus, as well as many other famous ones such as Velociraptor, Avaraptor, and Pentaceratops.